welcome back to my channel. So here I am back in my Hemlock and Oak that I use as my everyday planner. And this week I am doing something so out of my comfort zone because I will be using all of my own decorative stickers in this week's spread. So for my upcoming October release, I will be using these abstract leaves that are printed on clear mat, some of the abstract dots, the washi, the possibly the big quote the big quote might be too big in here but that's what's included and then you've got the paint swatch to match the color scheme as well as little post-its oh so excited i'm gonna also probably bring in some blackout days maybe some to do's i know i'm gonna include washi in this as well oh so excited oh i'll explain more about this as i go on let's get started all right, so very, very excited. The first thing I'm gonna do is put some washi down, but I haven't decided how I'm gonna use this washi because it's kind of like a rainbow. I chose this color palette because it feels very fall, kind of going into winter. Now that I've said it, I feel like it's too early to think about winter, but I did hand draw the little designs that are all on the washi in here. So I think I'm gonna Let's see, which colors do I want? I really actually like the orange and the yellow along with the blue. Maybe I will do orange and yellow on this side and then the blue on this side and kind of, so I'm gonna put this orange washi down here. I'm actually going to probably cover the dates because I'm going to use my blackout dates to go on top and that's gonna bug me. So then I'm gonna put the yellow over that as well. Kinda do the same thing that I did with the Let's Planet washies that came with it. Ooh, kids don't have school that day. Then I'm gonna transition to the blues. The reason that I chose this color palette is I just, I think that it, there's something, it's, it's similar to the, the color palette of like just, there's comfort in the blue for me. And then the dark blue. So I'm gonna turn this over so I can line it up properly. And where did I put it? Just like there. I know I'm probably off screen while I'm doing this. Perfect. Oh, I love that already. Love, love, love. And then I can probably place this actually down here. But before I even do that, I have these. My artistic ability is not great. I don't think of my artistic ability as being that great. So I wanted to be able to produce something without, well, while still staying within my artistic comfort zone. So I decided to draw these kind of abstract leaves and they're on the clear transparent, or the, the, the transparent matte paper. And I love how those turned out. Like I am a big fan of those. And then I also have these little paint swatches. This one is printed on the white matte paper and I really like how it turned out. There we go. And I just wanna make sure I have enough room, I do, to be able to put my sleep and all of that. So even before I do that, I'm gonna go ahead and put down all of the blackout dates here. I know I'm gonna be taking some Taking away from the, I guess the artwork a little bit, or what did I do? I did cut off a little bit last time, so I'm gonna do that again. One sec. Okay, so I decided to take a little bit off because I didn't want it to just be full black right across the top. I wanted it to have a little bit of spacing in between the days. I don't know why, but I like that blocky kind of look. Oops. There we go. 
actually yeah, I really like the blackout days with the black in the washi strips and when I was designing this basically I had a huge like brain fart all of last week or the week sorry all of like two weeks ago I just wasn't feeling designing anything new for the shop. I was getting really discouraged about whether I should con even continue with the shop. Um, but then there was one night, I, it was a Wednesday night that I suddenly had like this um, inspiration to just, you know what, just start drawing and see what comes out of it. And this kit is what came out of it. And I'm so excited that I just, kept going and decided to decided to just let inspiration take the lead. I love how light these transparent stickers are. Oh, and then on the page it looks even better. So then down the side here, I'm going to zoom in and then I'm going to work on my um, sleep tracker as well as my workout tracker. So I'm going to add in, let's put this down, <laughs> I do have a tendency to rip stickers, even if they're my own. Um, okay, so let's see, I will, will I draw a line there, you know what, I'll just, maybe I will draw a line, I don't know, should I, yeah, let's draw a line going across and I'm going to use my Pilot Kakano pen. Out of all of the new fountain pens I have, I think, other than the one I ended up giving to my husband, this one is the least expensive one. Got this for $18, although I did have to pay, I think, almost another $10 for the converter, so it ended up being like a $28 pen. Um, but I really like the, the feel of this pen. It's very light and very smooth. Okay, so I'm going to write in the um, S and C for steps and calories and then breakfast, lunch, and dinner and then I'm going to go ahead and decorate the daily spread. Okay, so I love these post-its. I think they'll be really great for uh, going in and adding some things. I'm going to add, I'm going to make sure I finish all of this but then the thing I also like are these like tiny little dots and with these dots I've actually included two sizes there's like a little bigger one and the teeny tiny ones I can't wait to use these so I'm gonna do I'm gonna add these around the spread now one of the things that I did end up learning um, with these stickers is how finicky they are but look at how they look on that paper how finicky they are but also um, just how, let's see, how do I want to put this down? How great it felt to be able to use my own artwork. And I say artwork in the loosest sense of the word because I don't think of myself as an artist at all. Um, I think at one point when I was a kid, maybe. <laughs> um, but I'm going to flip this upside down, actually, and put it like this. And then there's this teeny tiny one that I'll probably use in this corner here. I barely even notice it. And then just the little dots around. Are you even seeing that? But yeah, I'm calling myself an artist in the loosest sense of the word because I just, ooh, you know what these could be good for? It's for things throughout the week. Okay, I, I say artist in the loosest sense of the word because I think anybody who is just starting out as an artist, um, 
very, very critical, and even people who've been artists for a long time are very critical of their work, so this is me being very critical <laughs> of my work. Um, all right, so I'm gonna go in and go ahead and fill out each day. So what I actually do is take these leftover translucent dots, which I are like abstract leaves, and place them on Monday through Friday, and then actually add in my uh, clear work brush script from my sticker shop to put along across the week. And then I take my Pilot Kokono pen and actually just draw down my hours. Um, and unfortunately the sticker kind of covers where I can put my full work day, but that's okay. And then I take these translucent dots from the set uh, and put down when I have to pick up the kids and when they don't have, or when there's no school on Thursday. Then I move down to basically the to-do section and I actually take my little post-it to write down my to-dos for Monday, which is meal planning and ordering groceries. And then I take a Coffee Monsters Co. sticker to take out the garbage on Tuesday. And then Thursday is when I'm going to get my husband to pick up the groceries in the evening. And then Friday is normally my filming day, so I take another post-it sticker with this Coffee Monsters Co. emoji and write the down the movies, the, <laughs> the videos I have to film. And then Wednesday, uh, I take another post-it with this emoji to write down the shop things I have to do to prep for the new release on October 2nd. Moving on to Saturday, the new releases will go live at 8 a.m. Mountain Time on Saturday. And then I take this post-it to write down my kids' activities for the morning. And the weekend is kind of up and down for us, so the main things that I know I have to do are fold laundry, and then um, do our cleaning on Sunday morning. So there is the finished, I guess, before the week spread. I really love how that looks and I love how the majority of the stickers in here are ones that I have created myself. I'll, I still can't get over that. I, I won't be able to get over that for a while. So the abstract leaves, uh, as well as the paint swatch that goes with it, the post-its, the dots, the fall quote, uh, and the washi, all of that is going to be released on Saturday, October 2nd at uh, 8 a.m. Mountain Time, which is 10 a.m. Um, Eastern Stand Eastern Time. Um, and there will be 50 a 15% off code available for you guys. It will be fall 15. Um, and then if you guys have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. If you like this video, please leave me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching and have a great day.